Hey guys, I want to talk to you a little bit today about the way that you handle yourself around a woman that you find beautiful. I was listening back to a talk that I did a few months back where I was just, I was talking about this, this nature that, that I feel like a woman's beauty can be intoxicating to the point where it alters us as men. It alters our behavior. Um, you can go back and listen to that talk if you want a little more detail on that. I think it's a real thing. I think it's it's certainly a, a fact for most of us. But it just got me thinking a little bit more about that subject matter. I wanted to talk to you a little bit more about it today. There's there's an interesting thing that goes on in life. I think for all of us as young men, when we're very first starting out on our journey, we've all had these moments where, where you've been in the presence of a woman that you just find like irresistibly, unbelievably, incredibly beautiful. And you almost don't know how to handle yourself. Okay, you, you, you do, you know, maybe funny, awkward things. You talk in a different manner. Your, your, your physical movements about your body are different. And it's just like, it can be kind of awkward in a way, or at least like you're being awkward, right? If you were a fly on the wall to, to look at yourself and, and just imagine you sitting across or, or being in close proximity to a woman that, that, like I said, you just find like irresistibly beautiful, um, th- there is this this uh, characteristic about that sort of interaction when you're younger, let's say, in general, right? And, you know, maybe some people uh, develop this a little bit earlier on in life than others do, but but I, I certainly wasn't like this. It took me a lot of years and a lot of like self self improvement, like a lot of confidence building, all this kind of stuff to be able to to act for the most part in these ways. And don't get me wrong, I've still got my moments where I'm just like I, I'm. I'm knocked down, you know, just in in the presence of, of somebody that I, that I feel a certain way about. But there's this characteristic and there's, and there's this quality that I want to talk with you guys about today. And this is the part that I want you to, to, to stick to and, and to remember and try to, to get to this point in your life. But when you observe men that I think are, are first of all, very good with women in general, but just certainly guys that are confident, certainly guys that are powerful, certainly guys that are just all about their stuff. They, they got it all together. They're really well composed, well put together men. Think about and try to observe the next time you're around somebody like this. Observe how they act in the presence of a woman that that is very beautiful. Okay. A lot of times you're going to notice that they're completely unfazed by by being around a woman like that. They're they're not altered. Their their behavioral characteristics are not at all altered. They act in a very like stable fashion, let's say. And it's almost like the, the woman's not even there. And it's not like he's, a guy like this has to be like ignoring a woman, like in that regard. It's just like he can be around that. And like I said, he's just completely unfazed. He's like a, he's like a rock, you know, or like an oak tree or something like that. He's just, he's not shaken by something like that. And I think there's this funny piece of psychology that's going on there because like, I guarantee you, even inside of that guy's mind, like he's probably making this acknowledgement like, yeah, wow, she's really hot. She's really attractive. She's really beautiful. And like, yes, I would, I would love to, to be intimate with this woman, let's say, or I'd love to um, be closer with her, or I'd love to interact with her or whatnot. But still, all that stuff might be going on inside their brains, and it probably is, but the way that they carry themselves, the way they conduct themselves, the way that they act in that moment still... It's like nobody would know that that's going on inside their minds. They're kind of like keeping it to themselves. They, they've learned to be good at tamping those things down and keeping them controlled and keeping them, like I said, internalized. And like from an outsider looking in, you're like looking at this guy, you'd be like, just, you know, like, damn, like he is completely unfazed by her. Like most other guys would just be like falling down around her. And this guy is just acting in a completely different manner. Okay. That's a thing, guys. That's a that's a very real, I think, like human behavioral uh, sorts of thing to to let's say conquer or master or, or to work on. But just just the reason why I'm telling you guys this is because if you have some awareness, if you have this kind of like third person perspective, let's say on yourself, maybe the next time that you're in this this sort of situation, you're in one of these moments in life, you're gonna think about this talk and you're going to try to like keep it to yourself, try to maintain your composure, try to act like that guy that's unfazed by the beauty. You too can be unfazed by the beauty. And there's a lot wrapped up in this too, guys. When you learn to operate this way and you you learn to conduct yourself this way, I do feel like there's a lot more appeal in a woman's eyes that looks at a guy like this in a a whole different fashion as opposed to the guy that's just like falling apart around here. I mean, think about 
the difference between like somebody who is like clearly like a fan, right? He acts like a fan. He's like just a little groupie or something that can't control himself versus a guy that, that, like I said, he's like, he, he seems like he's unfazed by the beauty. He's not shaken by the beauty that, that communicates a lot different level of power, let's say. And I do believe that there's something psychologically that women go through where like, like I just said, they're going to look at those two different types of men in a wholly different fashion. And I don't even have to say it, guys, but, like, you're smart. You use your brain. Like, which do you think? What style do you think is the one that the woman is going to be more attracted to more regularly? Okay? Think about that for a second. All right? All right, guys. I hope that makes sense. Hope you're having a wonderful day. We'll talk to you all soon.